Hi, this is Mohan. I'm part of Mobile Lighting and Power Group under Silicon Valley Analog. Today, I'm going to briefly talk about LP8552, LED backlight driver for tablets and notebooks. From a customer standpoint, uh, be it a tablet customer or a notebook customer, there are three important factors that they would consider for backlighting. One, the solution needs to achieve longer battery runtime should have better visual experience and of course lower cost of ownership. In support of all three uh, parameters here we have various features built into 8552. I'll briefly talk about some of the key ones. To support longer battery run time we have a feature called adaptive dimming to show you a performance comparison. Here is a graph <coughs> plotting light output on the y-axis versus light setting, brightness setting on the x-axis. The red graph you see here is how typically the competition performs. The blue graph you see here is how 8552 performs without the adaptive dimming on. As such, you can see the difference in performance. Now, with the adaptive dimming on, the green line here, you can see much higher light output for any given brightness. If you translate it the other way around, much lower input power for the same brightness. From a better visual experience standpoint, we have a feature called brightness slope. Here is how a conventional implementation uh, is shown. When the user changes the brightness, at any point in time, the uh, output behaves in a step function, uh, fashion, going up or even going, uh, going down. However, when the brightness reaches the target value, the human eye perceives some sort of a glitch as shown in the uh, red blimps here. To overcome this, we have a feature called advanced slope, whereby we don't implement the step function, but implement a slope function which number one gives a smooth brightness uh, response when the user changes the brightness as well as we modulate the uh, PWM so that the human eye, uh, the glitch pursued by human eye is uh, enabled, excuse me, eliminated. Here you can see the various <coughs> features uh, that LP8552 uh, supports uh, to give a flexible uh, options to the customer. As an example, here you can see four different settings for uh, setting the boost frequency. And likewise, we have different setting for adjusting the slope of the brightness, headroom, etc. Now let's go down to the uh, actual demo. Here you see the 8552 uh, evaluation board which is uh, which can be used both for evaluation as well as for uh, demonstration purposes here is our little 8552 uh, chip boost circuitry now uh, powered by a power supply here but typically it is powered by a one cell or a two cell or a three cell uh, lithium-ion battery the output is connected to a 15 inch panel which has got about 60 to 66 LEDs. <coughs> in case that the customer does not have a panel readily available or he is during uh, his initial stages, uh, the board has got uh, a set of uh, uh, LEDs uh, that he can use to evaluate the chip as if he would evaluate in a real life with a panel. I'm going to demonstrate two key uh, features with uh, <coughs> the evaluation board. First, I'm going to show the uh, step brightness response starting uh, from 3% uh, brightness setting to 98 and back. Right now it's set to 3%. I'm changing it to 98. Here you can see the uh, abrupt transition. I'm back to 3%. Now I'm going to change, enable the uh, advanced slope. In this case, I'm going to use 500 milliseconds, for example. 
3%, I'm going to change it to 98. Here you can see the brightness transitioning much more smoothly and gracefully. Back to 3%. Now I'm going to even push the limits and change the 3% down to 1% in this case. As you can see, you are able to uh, change the brightness to 1% gracefully. Uh, what this means is the <clears throat> minimum brightness setting can be uh, made uh, much lower with LP8552. Um, not only 1%, but even lower depending upon the panel. Um, this allows the customer to get even uh, longer battery runtime without sacrificing visual quality, whereas in the competition pretty much uh, stops at 4% uh, or 6%. Uh, in summary, LP8552 gives the best bang for buck in terms of uh, power performance, visual quality, and the lower cost of ownership. You can find more details about LP8552 on our web at ti.com slash product slash LP8552. Thank you.